Hi, I'm the Alchemist Astrologer, and I wanted to give a special shout out to the Taurus audience. Happy birthday, Taurus. So I'm going to do a bonus reading where I pull cards connected to the luminaries and the planets. I'm going to end on a card that has to do with your spiritual lessons, your romantic advice, and your money. So this is for the month of May. So... The first luminary is the sun, and this is where you'll be directing a lot of your energy, your focus, and it's an area of life where you may want to get some recognition. You want to be seen and heard, and it may tie to your success, your ambitions, your personal willpower. It may tie to your health, your confidence, your sense of well-being, your vitality. It may connect to your children, your creativity, your self-expression, or your personal power, your ability to make decisions that tie to your future, your sense of purpose. And there may be opportunities related here or challenges that come with opportunity. But this is about your personal influence. And in fact, it's an area of life where you're going to have to have some mastery. You're going to have to master this area of life in order to move forward. And so again, it's about authority, yours, or dealing with people who have it. And this is represented by... The Seven of Swords. Okay, so your focus is going to be perhaps on some form of deception, uh, perhaps even downright theft, but in the positive, this is simply you coming up with a strategy. This could be a busy period where you're going from here to there. Maybe you have a lot of errands. You could be relocating or relocating to some temporary housing. So if you were visiting somewhere, you may be there for a little bit, but that's not your permanent home. Uh, whatever it is, integrity is the focus. So you will be focusing on uh, the integrity of others or you'll come under the spotlight uh, perhaps due to some kind of choice that was made and whether that choice holds integrity. This is a period where you're going to have to focus on where you're putting your energy because the theft could be simply you wasting your time with something. And this is a get out of jail card that says that you have the ability to easily and diplomatically remove yourself from situations that have nothing to do with you. So there's a focus on escaping something or trying to get away with something or pulling something off. Uh, or again, there's a focus on dealing with some thread of deception uh, that is affecting you. Now, the next luminary is the moon. And so whatever is coming up, you're going to feel very emotional about this. There could be a hidden aspect to it, something secretive that's going to come out. And whatever it is, your intuition is very strong in this area of life, but you'll have to listen to it because you could deceive yourself in this instance. It probably ties to your sense of security you may feel very territorial or possessive about this. It may kick your maternal instincts in. So you may feel very protective of others, or you may be seeking some form of security. So you're looking at where you nourish yourself with this card. What makes you feel safe? What makes you feel stable? Although this is likely to be an area of life that is anything but... Uh, this is a card that's going to represent what is in flux. Where are things fluctuating? Where are they not solid? Where is something, some nebulous element that you don't quite understand and yet you have an inkling about? So this is something where, again, you feel very emotional. You could feel moody or depressed or your moods may change on a whim regarding this card. 
uh, you may have some kind of emotional or psychological breakthrough, but something probably tied to the past or past conditioning is related to this card. And that card is the Devil card. So for some of you, this may tie to an ex or again the past, some kind of limitation, restriction, or challenge that you've been dealing with. For some of you, it's going to tie to a Capricorn person. So this is about you dealing with some self perpetuating habits that aren't serving you. Could be some unhealthy attachments, some compulsions, some obsessions. Uh, and so you're dealing with something where your survival instincts are kicking in. So you feel very strongly, whether you're facing an opportunity or you're facing some kind of challenge, this is emotional for you. Uh, and it could be this is affecting your moods, uh, your sense of happiness or well-being. So you may be dealing with, again, some extra responsibilities, some burdens, some challenges. Uh, but it is a time where it's easy for you to get away with something because you have the power of influence. You have somehow this ability to look inside of others and see what their intentions are, what their motivation is. So if you're dealing with something deceptive, you'll be able to spot that off. And you'll also be able to influence other people to go your way. So you have to be above board. You have to maintain your sense of integrity because you may be tempted to give in to something, either your own compulsions or you may be tempted to do something that may be bending the ethics just a bit. So this means you have to stay uh, decent and you have to be mindful of where you're vulnerable. Vulnerable to being exploited, vulnerable to giving in to your temptations, uh, and mindful of what your habits are. Because your emotions, your sense of security, is somehow tied to those habits. Now, the first planet is Mercury. And this is an area that is going to take up a lot of your mental space. Your mind is going to be devoted to this area of life. This is where things could pick up a bit, where things could get busy. You may have more interactions. Uh, you may be discussing things related to this card. You may be involved in some form of business or plan travel plans or uh, commerce or contracts related to this. Uh, so this is an area where you may be feeling very frazzled due to, you know, the frenetic pace of things. Uh, or, you know, you're simply putting some things in order. You're getting a lot done. So it's about communication. It's about movement. But again, it's where your mind is directed during this period. And that would be Page of Pentacles. So you're making some plans. They may tie to education or there's a small opportunity for gain. And so your mind may be focused on how you can gain. Maybe it's how you can avoid some kind of responsibility or an obligation or get away from bad habits or negative energy or pessimism or fear. Uh, maybe you're getting some news that may tie to a contract or business, something that would give you some sense of security emotionally or financially. Could be you're trying to escape some bad habits with regard to health. And so you're making plans to improve your daily operations, how you take care of yourself. So you could be looking out there, you know, to give you some kind of boost. You're looking for greener pastures, whether that is outside of your uh, business boundaries, broadening or expanding, or maybe even outside of your relationship. You may also be dealing with some form of restriction where something is unpredictable or unreliable or where you think there is more of a stable commitment than there is. So you're making some plans. Your plans that tie to business, finance, and health is where your mind is going to be directed. The next planet is Venus. 
And this is where you're likely to attract some kind of benefit uh, or, you know, maybe benefit in this area or people related to this area of life that offer benefit. This is where you're seeking the pleasure principle. So it may tie to something social, some kind of self-indulgence, some luxury or gift. Could be uh, dealing with women or love or money. But again, there's some kind of benefit where you are seeking to attract something that you desire, something that you find pleasurable, something that may be stimulating to your senses. And that card is the Justice card. So for some of you, you again want to restore some kind of order to a situation. Uh, the pleasure comes in having harmony around you, perhaps. Uh, maybe you're working on something where design or the beauty, the harmony in color or line or form is going to be important. For others of you, you're making some important decisions. Perhaps there are a couple of opportunities. Maybe there are two partners. Uh, you may be receiving something through a legal benefit, some legal decision. You're making some judgments, a judgment call. That depends on what is fair. For some of you, this is tied to a Libra person. So your benefits are going to come through the legal system, through trying to restore order. That may be, maybe you're focused on paying off some debts or settling some unfinished business or making that judgment call. There's some changes that are coming up and you're going to have to accommodate those changes, but there's some kind of benefit for you. Maybe in the past there was a loss or a setback. Your benefit comes through looking at things uh, through proper perspective, putting things in order, not letting one thing ruffle your feathers and get you all out of order, you know, present some chaos. This is about keeping things in focus and proper perspective and not allowing any kind of bias to color the way you see things or the decisions that you make. So you may be getting some news. Maybe it has to do with your ex, maybe the past or business, where you may be trying to restore order or finding better balance. You'll be getting some kind of benefit through that. Perhaps the scales are going to be righted. Now the next planet is Mars. Once again, this is where your drive, your ego, your passion is. So your desires are very much connected to this card. Uh, your goals, your ambitions. This is where you're looking out for number one. Uh, so you feel very passionate and you may be willing to fight for whatever is connected to this card or you may find yourself drawn into some kind of conflict because of this card. This is where you can, you know, be a little bit reckless or impulsive, pull the trigger a little bit too fast. Uh, so you have to really control this energy. This, this is directly tied to your sexuality and your desires, your focus. And that card is the Hanged Man. So for some of you, maybe there's a Pisces involved. Uh, for some of you, since this card ties to sexuality, maybe there are issues of sexual orientation. Maybe you're experimenting or you're getting in touch with your sexuality. This calls for a fresh perspective, looking at something differently. So there's something you feel passionate about where you're going to have to change the way you approach it. You're going to have to go at it from a different angle to make it happen. And your, some of you, maybe your energy or your passion or your desire is suppressed somewhat. Uh, you may be finding that things are in limbo. Maybe you don't really know what's motivating to you right now. Maybe there's a lack of energy. You feel like your energy is depressed. Uh, for some of you, you're waiting for some kind of results, and maybe this is an agonizing wait for you. So this says that in some cases, maybe this is a reversal of something where, you know, if something was stolen or taken from you, order may be restored. You may get some good news that something is going to come back to you. 
This is also about making some kind of sacrifice. And so you will be looking at what you are sacrificing for your goals and whether it's worth it. Now, because this is tied strongly to Neptune, this may mean that there are some issues either where you're being passive aggressive or you're dealing with somebody. Could be you're not coming right out and going after what you want. Maybe you're doing it in a roundabout way. Uh, so, you, again, the, the devil may come into play where you're trying to use some kind of psychology. You're coming up with some ingenious solution in order to get what you want. You just have to make sure that, you know, the ends truly does justify the means. So whatever your desires are, they're not really moving a whole lot forward right now. Maybe you've made a conscious choice to take some time, to take a time out, to gain some information. Uh, or maybe, again, there's just a lack of motivation. Nothing is really moving forward. Now, the next planet is Jupiter. And, of course, Jupiter expands whatever it touches. It's the planet of luck but also the planet of exaggeration and extremes. And this is an area of your life where you may be very optimistic, you may be overly optimistic. It's where you can make a misjudgment, a miscalculation, because you think things are far better than they are. And in fact, Jupiter is retrograde right now, which means that the benefit that Jupiter would normally offer is delayed so that you can do a review a review of the benefits that you're receiving, the reward that you're going after. Is this truly intrinsic to your core values, your authentic self? Or are you seeking something simply maybe due to peer pressure? So this is where you're looking at truth, at knowledge, at your belief system at expanding yourself in some way, whether that is physically through travel or through education. Uh, this is about experiences that open you up to new perspective. And again, where you can gain uh, through wealth, whether that's financial, whether that's emotional, or whether it's through knowledge. Knowledge is power. So this is where you're seeking benefit, but where you're having to rethink, and maybe benefit is suppressed for you in this area. And this card is the chariot. So for some of you, maybe it ties to travel, could be a vehicle, some goal that you have. And you may be very, very focused on that goal. You're seeking some kind of benefit, either through travel, through communication, uh, and you're willing to put in a lot of effort. It may take all of your attention. But again, you're having to think about the reward factor. Is it worth it? Is it truly what you want? So for some of you, this is some form of self-mastery where you may find that you get angry or it's difficult for you to curb those impulses. And remember, you have the devil card that says you may have trouble, you know, not yielding to some form of petty temptation. So the chariot card says stay focused. Don't become impulsive or reckless. It could be that there's something that you're dealing with where there's some delays, some miscommunication, something may be more costly than you had anticipated. Uh, you have to move quickly, perhaps, but you have to be very focused so that you meet goal. This is a victory card. So there's some challenge that you're facing, and the benefit may come through enlisting the help of others, being a team player rather than always trying to do things on your own, and also being mindful of other people that it's not just about what you want, that this is about working together. Now, the next card is Saturn, which is also retrograde. And Saturn is the taskmaster. So this is an area of life where you're very fully aware of your responsibilities, your obligations. You're more serious with regard to this aspect of your life. And in fact, while it's retrograde, things may feel very burdensome. Whatever was a challenge seems doubly so. You may be dealing with the past, an ex, uh, karma, 
uh, old debts. And so things may feel very challenging. You may be dealing with restrictions, delays, time, of course, age, you're having a birthday. So you're looking over the past. You're doing a review. In some cases, this is a review of your commitments. Where should you be saying no? Where are you overextending yourself? Or what are you building? And what is the foundation of that? So you're doing that kind of review. And this is an area of life where you may be prone to overcompensate because of some fear or some pessimism or because you are meeting some kind of restriction or challenge. And that ties to the Knight of Swords. So for you, some of you, you've got a lot of cards in here that may tie to some legal issues for some or travel. So for some of you, there are some restrictions or delays or some burdens that tie to communication or to travel. The Knight of Swords, maybe this is an air sign person, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, or just the traits. For some of you, this is you rushing into something or rushing to protect someone or get, getting that protection. For others of you, this may be uh, somebody that pulls you into some form of conflict. So again, this is a knight who doesn't want to take no for an answer, although if he doesn't like a situation, he may be making a quick exit. So for some of you, uh, this may tie to some legal entanglement. It could be um, a communication issue, travel issue. You may be dealing with some kind of planning agency or some kind of situation where intellectual analysis uh, decision-making skills, thought process is very important. And this is an area of life that's going to feel very burdensome or challenging to you. Perhaps you find yourself in a confrontational situation or you're having to deal with a lot of paperwork or you're having to deal with travel. Something about this presents a burden for you. Now, the next planet is Uranus. Whatever is connected to this card has a surprise factor to it. Something perhaps shocking. Now, Uranus is currently in your sign, so you may be making some surprising changes. Uh, maybe others are surprised at what you're doing, or you may even surprise yourself. And because it's in your first house, maybe you're changing the way you look, or you're changing your outlook on life. Uh, you could be changing the way that you're seen, your brand, your image. Uh, in Taurus, maybe you're changing how you make money. You're becoming... Uh, resourceful at that. Maybe it ties into technology or you're thinking about the friendships that you make or what your goals are for career. So something that ties to your security and perhaps your senses, the pleasure you seek, is undergoing some kind of radical change that's going to allow you more independence. In fact, this is an area of life where you may be seeking greater freedom. So this is, you know, the surprise factor, either through shock or something unexpected, some developments that happen all of a sudden that you weren't anticipating. So that may be exciting or it could be unsettling. And you have the Eight of Pentacles. So there could be something surprising connected to for some of you, a bill, uh, or something that you're working on, some kind of project. Maybe this project ties to technology. Uh, there's a focus on you moving up the ladder of success. So it may, maybe you're turning a hobby into a business, or maybe you're trying to expand in some way. Could have to do with how you're saving. Again, because this ties to your security. So you're taking a lot of time looking at the details. Maybe you're surprised when you look closely at something, or you're surprised at a detail that you missed. 
So this is about trying to be more efficient, more orderly. Of course, that's difficult with Uranus here because there's some unexpected factors, some surprising things that take place. This may happen in your work environment, in your office, when you're dealing with papers, when you're dealing with your money. Uh, so you're trying to make some improvements in some way. And... For some of you, this is about breaking out of that routine. There's something that you've been doing over and over and over, and perhaps it's gotten stale. Maybe you're in a comfort zone here, uh, but it, it's not really serving you. Some of you, this is going to tie to a Virgo. So you're working on something either to improve yourself. There could be a critical eye to something. You may be surprised at some criticism that you receive. Somebody's taking something you've done and nitpicking it apart or personally attacking you. So there's a surprise factor here, some kind of shock that you're dealing with that ties to putting things in order and paying attention to the details. Now, the next card ties to Neptune. And this is an area of life where perhaps you'll be offering more compassion to others or you'll be receiving that. But again, it's an energy that's difficult to deal with. It's the higher octave of love, Venus, but we as humans have a hard time coping. Okay, maybe this has to do with work or authority. Uh, trying to establish something. We have a hard time dealing with... Boy, this King of Pentacles has popped out twice. So something may tie to you trying to establish something. Maybe it ties to real estate, to land, uh, business, money, wealth, dealing with people of wealth. There's something that you're trying to establish uh, either financially or emotionally. New avenues of growth. And that may tie to Neptune somehow. But Neptune is difficult energy. It's where we are uncertain about something. So there could be something vague happening, something going on behind the scenes. Uh, it may be an area of life where you're prone to undermine yourself. It could be an area of self-undoing. Uh, this may be... An area, again, where you're called to make some kind of sacrifice or where there's some form of deception taking place. Things are not moving forward the way you want. There could be some kind of delay here. And it's because something is not clear. Uh, either, again, because somebody's being deceptive or because all of the facts are not in. So you're having to sort of play it by ear. There's some area of your life where you're not sure exactly what's going on. You may have a sense of it, but all of the facts haven't been gathered yet. This has to do with the Hermit card. Again, so we have two cards related to Virgo. Now this may have to do with education, some form of information. Could be writing, could be a book, could be some research that you're doing. Uh, something is not clear. Somebody's trying to bring something to light. And it could be that you're so focused in one area of your life, directing your energy, that something is going on behind your back that you're not aware of. Something may fall through the crack because you're so intently focused on something else. Uh, for some of you, this is, again, information related. Maybe you're going within to get some answers or you're getting some kind of counsel. And it's likely to trigger some kind of confrontation. You have this Seven of Swords here. So you're looking at where perhaps there is some kind of deception. Are people doing what they say they will do? Are they walking their talk? Are you doing that? You may have not gotten all the information that you need. Something may be going on behind the scenes. Somebody could be keeping you at arm's length and simply telling you just what they want you to know and nothing more, or you may be doing that. So this is a period of enlightenment that may be stressful. Uh, it may be you know, some form of crisis due to having to tie up some loose ends, uh, having to try to restore some kind of order that connects to research and information. So you don't have all the facts yet. You're trying to gain some form of enlightenment, and 
you may need to, again, withdraw to ponder over a situation. Now, some of you, maybe this is about spirituality. Maybe it's about something charitable or something compassionate. Maybe there's some area of confusion related to education or knowledge or service in some way. So you're going to have to remain logical in spite of the fact that you don't have all of the facts. You're going to have to be objective and detach yourself from a situation so that you can see things clearly. So if all of the cards aren't on the table, you can find the answers and make decisions that are going to serve you and not work against you. Now the last planet is Pluto, which is also retrograde. And this is the agent of change. So you will be meeting some profound change in this area of your life, some kind of transformation. And either it's going to be repaired, improved, or you're going to have to release it. So this is representing an area of life where you may be involved in some kind of power struggle, especially because Pluto is retrograde. There could be some form of manipulation or deception or underhanded maneuver that you're dealing with. Uh, it's about influence. So there could be issues connected to shared resources, to money, wealth, sex, uh, psychological insights. Somebody may be playing mind games. So this is about power. And there could be some major changes here that feel unsettling, but the end result should put you in a better place. And that card is represented, that Pluto is represented by the Ten of Pentacles. So something connected to the past and trying to establish some sense of permanence. Now, this may tie to issues of wealth, investments, family money, marital issues, family crisis, uh, arguing over money. Uh, so... You may have dealings with investors, bankers, institutions, uh, establishments. There, there may be some parental concerns. This is about trying to create something that will last into the future. So there's some profound changes taking place here and some power struggles, uh, some kind of transformation. Maybe it's tied to inheritance, or again, maybe it's some kind of legal issue. And there's an opportunity. Some, something may be deceptive. Something may be stolen. Uh, or maybe you're trying to escape some obligation or restriction. Maybe it ties to old debts. And there hasn't been a lot of movement. Maybe somebody's waiting to travel or waiting to communicate. Uh, you're working on something, whether that's paying off bills, improving your talents, moving up ahead, and you're trying to get some information. Something is coming to light. And in that process, perhaps you're dealing with some form of confrontation. Something triggers somebody's insecurity about what their knowledge level is, what what whether they're making the right decision. So you're having to be logical about something that ties to the long term. Now, the spiritual lesson in all of this ties to the temperance card. So for some of you, this may have to do with the Sagittarius. For others of you, it may have to do with healing, healing yourself physically, healing a situation. It may be in connection to healers. For, for others of you, this may be some artistic creation. You're trying to find the right balance. You may be testing the waters with regard to something, uh, seeing whether you're compatible with another person or a circumstance. So you're trying to compromise. This is a period where the lesson is restraint. 
working with others, finding the middle ground, uh, you know, not falling prey to your temptations, your obsessions, your compulsions, and thinking about what your obligations are, not being too extreme, not being extravagant, not pushing the envelope too far. So that means watching your budget, perhaps, maybe not spending too much money or talking too much or eating too much or drinking too much or giving in too much or uh, holding back too much. This is about finding the right balance. So for some of you, compromise and restraint are key words. You may need to look at where you have been procrastinating with tying up some loose ends that perhaps you've been avoiding. So you're having to deal with things, but you do have spiritual protection. Uh, the Hermit card says that, and the Temperance card says there's an angel watching over you. For some of you, maybe even a third party comes in to provide some kind of assistance. There's a healing influence. So you may need to have some direct discussions with others in order to restore some balance. So you need to make uh, plans where, where maybe, you know, somebody's trying to avoid or escape something. You may have to be very direct. You may have to tell it like it is, put it all out there so that you guys can come to some form of consensus with regard to something. Now, your romantic advice is represented by When things fall apart, I get a chance to start fresh. So it seems that there's something, as far as your relationship, again, you may be looking at issues where you need to heal something. And maybe it ties to the past. Maybe it ties to an ex. You want to restore order to something. Maybe it's a legal issue. Uh, and you're going to get some kind of news. And maybe, you know, you're waiting to move forward. Maybe somebody's waiting on your communication. You're trying to gather some research. Maybe you've been isolated or withdrawn. Whatever it is, something is going to fall apart. But this simply means that taking on this fresh perspective, going at it from a different angle, may give you a fresh start. Now, your money card is True North you need to examine whether your actions are aligning with your desire for excess or if you have lost your path. It may be time to move in a new direction. So Taurus, it's time to look at what is just a habit and where you may need to make some important decisions. Uh, you know, what are you working on? Is it worth the sacrifice? Are you just so focused that, you know, you're stuck on this path? It's time for you to find what your true calling is, your authentic self. All right, Taurus, I hope you enjoyed this. Again, happy birthday, whatever you wish for yourself. I hope the universe grants it ten times over. All right, until then.